I knew I wasn't cleared to dive head first and I went to go dive for that ball. That ball landed in left center field on March 28th and when Oregon senior Jeannie Takeda fell on top of it, she also fell on top of teammate Coral Costa and separated her shoulder for the second time this season. I had a few tears <laughs> coming out of my eyes. Um, it's just always really scary whenever it slips out because you never know how bad it is that time. Takeda says she's had issues with her shoulders since senior year of high school. She thought she had neutralized the issue with a surgery after her sophomore year at Oregon, but the problems returned this year and sidelined her for almost two weeks. That left one of the most dangerous bats in the Oregon order on the bench, but she found a way to make the most of it. I wanted to find purpose. I didn't want to just sit on the bench and just feel like worthless. Like sometimes you have to be a role player and take on a different role than you're used to, but as long as you're helping the team, it's rewarding. And while head coach Mike White missed her presence in the order, he didn't want to put Takeda back prematurely, even though she clearly wanted to return. When she was out, she couldn't wait to get back, and that tells you a lot about uh, that she just loves to play this game. Although she still isn't cleared to play defense, Takeda returned to the Oregon lineup as a designated hitter last weekend versus Arizona State. It was a little different because I was a little more uncomfortable in the box. Uh, I wasn't as, you know, prepared as I would like to be usually, but... I was just happy to be on the field. Takeda says she'll have to be extra careful once she gets back to left field, but as she winds down her career at Oregon, she's just glad to be contributing to another push for the Women's College World Series. Ryan Rillard, Oregon News.